just like the real estate appointment setting that I'm doing, realtors are also going out there meeting people, yep. closing deals. So it's kind of the same thing. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So, because, because, you know, to drive to a property, to meet people, spend time with them, like maybe an hour, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and then you, they wouldn't have just one appointment. They would have a couple, like maybe five or six, plus whatever they're doing per in, per in their personal lives. Mm -hmm. So yep. really, if they have kids or <laughs> if they have family, and then you have eight hours a day dialing, then it wouldn't be realistic. Like you wouldn't have any time left. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to be a burnout. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Plus, they are also like um, paperwork. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, talking about paperwork, what would what do you um, on a daily basis? Like, what does uh, an insurance underwriter dialer does? What are, what are what are your responsibilities? Daily task of a dialer, um, of course, <laughs> um, booking appointments for the uh, uh, underwriters and um, calendar management. Um, we have to make sure that they are fully booked for the day so at mm -hmm. least they can like maximize and meet more clients and more chances of closing sales as well and then um i do follow up email sms or call to uh the prospects so uh sometimes i also do uh, like a reminder call mm -hmm. and then yeah so for example worst come scenario if there are some missed appointments for some reason like an emergency thing for the client um we do follow up on them to reschedule another like appointment at their mm. most convenient time. What, what, what kind of uh, insurance products do you offer? Do you offer life, med yeah. med life insurance, final expense, uh, mortgage protection, those kind of things, income protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have. We would like to discuss all of those even more on a different video, um, because it's it's going to be difficult to discuss it like this. We would also like to talk about the dialers the dialers that we uh, you are using right mm -hmm. um, but for the sake of this video can you tell us about the dialer like the, the the auto dialer right it's not it's not practical to manually dial it so um, what what kind of what is the best auto dialer for underwriter insurance well at the moment uh, most underwriters with FFL are actually using um, phone burner oh, okay phone burner and why is that effective um, you like you have option of dialing two, three, or multiple numbers at the same time, and and like you can like set it to something like multiple mm -hmm. attempts in one go. Okay, so it's just like insure. Uh, it's just like what we're using in Mojo. That's what we're using for real estate apartment setting, and it it has the ability to dial three numbers at once. Have you used other dialers or other yes, systems? like um, like Ring Central or Uma? Uh, Uma phone, tough phones, yeah, mm -hmm. right, right. And by far, your experience with um, phone burner has been the best experience. Um, yeah, well, I'm using two ring sent. Oh no, no, Uma and uh, phone burner. Uma and phone. So you're connecting phone burner to Uma. Um, Is that right? Not really. It's actually two separate. It's just um, f normally for life insurance leads and final expense leads, I'm using the phone burner because mm -hmm. I need to dial more. Right. With mortgage protection leads, they are, I mean, they are limited numbers, so you can like manually dial them on UMA, and then you can actually like do follow up on them via SMS. Mm -hmm. so, it's yeah. it's a bit if you are new, um, it's a bit complicated. It's it might sound a bit complicated, but um, I promise to you know have Angel again and another another video, but it's going to be with. Of it's going to be us in front of our computer so that we can show you everything yep. so it's just more on more on uh, just kind of giving you an idea about what uh, becoming a virtual assistant for uh, an insurance is all about just like real estate appointment setting I've seen long uh, long-term opportunities for real insurance dialers so yep. we would like to encourage you if you're looking for like a long-term opportunity or maybe um, you know, a, a good paying uh, job opportunity at home, then you might want to consider working for an insurance underwriter, you know, because of course they close deals and when they close deals, uh, some, most of them are generous, right? They will yep. give you some bonus yes. for every close deals. And plus the idea that you are giving insurance to someone, Yes. right? So exactly. so at the end of the day, you have the, the value of your job as well, that you know that the this lead that you talk to, you're able to help them. help them. Really, you're not just 
just selling someone something to someone but rather you're also helping them become protected yes right not just the client itself but also their family yes the, the, their family so b just before we end this um, angel and really thank you for the opportunity and thank you for 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 uh, visiting us and for joining me today but I wanted to ask you what is your three tips for uh, for people that are considering to apply as insurance dialer what would be your three tips for them um, well we've mentioned earlier that underwriters are actually really for long term right and they are very generous if they're happy they'll share their blessings for sure yes that's what I love about it <laughs> <laughs> you share your blessing they share their blessings to you yeah you share your blessings to us <laughs> oh yeah let's do that <laughs> tips for um, like uh, tips for dialers like feature dialers um, whenever you start working I mean once you start working with underwriters it's not just you getting paid on an hourly basis make sure that you do your best because like what we've mentioned they are generous so if you give them good numbers they'll definitely share their blessings to you as well right all right, right. so you gotta be you know honest with your job yes right you're yes. you're not here to just get paid yes. hourly and not really perform correct yep yep <laughs> uh, you need to do good because they'll definitely share their blessings with you another thing is um, you have to have that initiative right yeah to work extra mile extra effort because like because sometimes you really need it with yes the job yes right Say, for example, like you said, you have to when you set an appointment, it doesn't stop there. Yep. You have to make sure that tomorrow when the appointment is scheduled, you have to make sure that you're doing the right follow-up mm -hmm. yep. you know, to ensure that the appointment really sticks, correct? Yep. yep. You really have to make sure, confirm, and get the commitment from the person. Because yep. cause really, insurance underwriters get frustrated when they go there and no one's there. <laughs> yeah. And no one's going Imagine to show Imagine driving up, right? an hour from one place to another and end up not seeing the client and yeah. the prospect so it's going to be very frustrating that's why that's another like that's actually a good point whenever you're booking appointments yes the, the, the underwriter needs like more numbers more appointments but we have to make sure as well that we are producing quality appointments it's right. not just about booking you have we have to make sure that those are quality appointments right so so basically you're saying that we have to be productive if you will have the integrity and the honesty then definitely everything will follow and you'll be productive so that's number one yep. and number two you have to have the initiative mm -hmm. to you know to 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 do you know some extra work or exert effort to ensure that it works you know mm -hmm. that the appointment sticks and then lastly the quality yep. of the appointment to ensure that because because you are helping your client to get to get more money to earn more money mm -hmm. right and it wouldn't happen if your leads are not good yes right exactly so so we gotta make it solid and and there, would, there are a lot of ways to make it solid but it would be for another video for them right yes and that's one that's actually part of our training for um for our agents as well yeah part of our training how to ensure because there are a lot of things to discuss here uh, what kind of dialer how what, how to use the dialer um, objection handling well, objection handling what types of insurances are being offered typically what leads are being dialed and what's yep. the benefit of each lead list and what would be the script what's the delivery what yes. kind of objections are you're getting many things so this would be a series of videos that we'll be providing to you so if you want to know more about what we offer as an agency uh, we are going to have our Upwork link down below as well as our website and we would have our contact information there and if you are a client or insurance underwriter who wants to hire angel <laughs> you can always go to our website or you can email me my email is info at telecrewoutsourcing.com again it's info at telecrewoutsourcing.com and I'll be more than happy to assist you and answer your questions so that's the end of our video thank you so much for having us and for thank you so much for um, watching this video until the end it's been a pleasure doing this with you and thank you so much angel thank you for, too, uh, for joining my video today it's, it's been a while since I created a content and it's really exciting to have done it with you um, it was a pleasure Jazzy. okay thank you so much so do you have any last message or what or um not really <laughs>
no, no, so I mean, um, if you are after long term, um, like clients, real estate and insurance is actually really something yes. that you if, can especially if try. you're from a call center and you're really good at talking on the phone really good at uh, phone sales or if you've been in call centers doing this i'm sure that if you transition especially now that a lot of people are being asked to work in the off in the office and most of us we want to stay working at home but the yep. company does not want to do it anymore this is a good opportunity for you it's going to be a huge leap because from from office setup now you're going to be working from home to do everything on your own but that's why we're here as an agency now thank you so much once again if you are uh, a client looking to hire a cold caller don't hesitate to contact us telecrew outsourcing.com is our website and we offer different uh types of cold callers we have clients in the united states united kingdom uh canada uh, australia Singapore. Yeah, Singapore, and just like you, Miss Universe, we cover, we cover, uh, we cater to all clients globally. And if you are, um, if you are an applicant, uh, an aspiring virtual assistant or freelancer, call caller, and you're interested to join our team, you can uh, also visit our website. I'll have it down below, and just you know, find a part there that says join our team. And we're always looking for new talents to join our company. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, guys. And see you on my next video. Bye.